proper life now. Peace to this. I had the opportunity to sit in on the Lady Saints meeting. As you all may be aware, within the SAS, and we have a number of monthly meetings, most of which are for men. We have the All Saints meeting for the men and women, everyone around the world within the SAS. We have new member orientation, which is for those who are uh, new to the family, you know, kind of introduce one, a, one another mutually. And of course, there are a number of meetings that might happen within a given region. You know, if you're part of the Florida SAS, shout out to the Florida SAS. I just saw their photo from their workout. They had a lot of guys attending. Beautiful thing, sharp guys, fit guys. But today was the Lady Saints meeting. And when the ladies meet, they usually have the women from all around the world, you know, New York, uh, Sweden, Chicago, North Carolina, you name it. And today was a privilege for me to be able to observe it because we get to see how this is growing organically. And really what we're in charge of is building the, and as men talk about where all the good women at, women say the same thing. Or we say, you know, the women today are TikTok thoughts and all of these negative things, but we've not invested in crafting the women that we want. The Lady Saints is an opportunity to bring together women who are already good women and also bring together young women or women who might still be seeking a relationship such that they can reinforce good, positive behaviors while pursuing two major goals, which one in the area of relationships, making sure that they're able to, you know, effectively utilize strategy to relate to their man, to serve their man, to express themselves to their man, you know, practice good communication. And then also on the side of wealth, how are they able to support their man in earning more? And if they're the one earning well, how do we accelerate them in earning well so that can now we're really building the foundations of the Lady Saints. And feel free to share any comments, questions as we uh, go through. But I was asking myself a number of questions, which was number one, like, you know, like what is the vision for the Lady Saints? And it dawned on me that whereas men uh, have a number of heroes that we might look up to, some fictional, some real, uh, the women need the same thing, the females, the girls because in the absence of us putting together a proper model and ideal, what do they have? Kim Kardashian, uh, Meg Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, all of these uh, bedwinches who really spread filth in the society and cause decay. And so I think chief among what we're doing is we're showing what a good woman is, not what a bad bee is, but what a good woman is. And it's such a privilege to be a part of that process. And right now we're designing the meeting structure so that the women can you know, come back to this family of women every month and get value and give value and also help other women develop in the right way. So that was really an exciting uh, thing to see this growing. And I also made the post on the community tab. I think this is under marketed right now. A lot of women don't know that we even have the Lady Saints. Oh, shame on me. I was actually supposed to exit Russell. Yeah. yeah shame on you too. But I'll take the, the uh, bulk of the blame for that. Oh, that hurts my heart. We just added 10 minutes to this trip. Anyways, um, so the Lady Saints one of the things they'll be talking a lot about is communication, uh, self-expression, and most importantly, it'll give them a place to come together with other women who are upright. You ever have a situation where your lady has a friend and you're like, oh man, your friend is single. All she want to do is go to the club. You ain't single. You don't need to be in the club. Or wow, your friend doesn't seem to have any morals or house training, uh, home training. And it seems as though she's probably dragging you down. This is awesome because a lot of the lady saints, in fact, the overwhelming majority of them are married uh, in long-term relationships, and in many of the cases, in long-term relationships with the saints. And the neat thing about the far future of what we'll be able to do with the lady saints is that we'll be able to facilitate strong relationships between upright and moral men and modest and chaste women. And in fact, we've already had you know one such bond 
uh, created between one of the saints and one of the lady saints. It's a beautiful thing to see because the lady saints are not the kind of women that you would play games with or one night stand. These are good women. These are the women that you live with, that you, you stay with for the long term, uh, you build family with. So in the future, we'll be able to have a culture wherein you meet a lady saint, you already know what she stands for. You know that she has good manners and good hygiene, good etiquette, and knows how to respect the boss. You dig? It's a beautiful thing. And similarly, the men will, on their side, know how to protect a woman, show her the appropriate respect and leadership. So it's really a powerful thing that we're erecting here. And this is remarkably different from anything you might see uh, in the real world or in the YouTube sphere in that you, know, you have a lot of complaints but you don't have much action or you have men who uh, in complaining about women, they, they push women away and being that they're a female repellent, they're not able to facilitate those relationships for good men and good women. So I'm really pleased at our works today and I, I want to acknowledge the ladies who have been responsible for you know, forging this road. Because obviously I've been hyper-focused on the men and it shows because the men side of things is really strong. Should we, uh, how's the service been on this one? No one said anything. I think okay. they're just taking it all in. Fantastic. So I guess we could have done this on the main channel then, huh? Yeah. Oh, brilliant, good to hear. Yes. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to send them in via Cash App or PayPal uh, or Super Chat, and we'll address your question about the Lady Saints. Obviously, I'm the liaison, if you will, uh, between the Lady Saints and the whole of Assassin. The idea with that being, obviously, we our goal is to not expose the women who belong to a man to random guys, right? So, you know, these are people's wives, girlfriends, etc. And so, in as much as that's the case, the Lady Saints meeting is exclusive to women. Now, I might drop in uh, you know, randomly just to observe the structure, uh, provide any oversight, and to learn you know, what, how they're doing things. Uh, what we have avoided doing is making the Lady Saints a, a copy of the Saints and how we have our processes. Now, our processes are masculine, very hierarchical. Their processes are more feminine, more egalitarian. And that's fine to have those differences. Keandre just sent support. Shout out to Keandre, uh, supporting the work, appreciate it. Was that the police putting on their, their sirens just to get through the traffic? I believe so. Those filthy animals. I wish I was closer, I would've followed behind them. You did. You think they'd've pulled me over for that? I don't think they can pull me over for following. Yeah, well they driving in the emergency lane, I would've been right there with them. We'll just act like it's a real lane. You know, the funny thing is that I find the police out here have been you know, pretty chill, except that one situation I had. Uh, when I was in the other convertible. Yeah. You remember that? I remember. <laughs> that was funny. He was actually lying. That was outrageous. But today was a good day. Um, started off really strong and early. Um, I'm excited for Boston University, which will be um, releasing on April 26th. We do need to increase the price on that. Um, I've just been very busy, so when I get some downtime, we're going to increase the price. Um, and for those who get the pre-sale, we will be I'll take everyone through uh, and I'm happy to do it because what you should know about good knowledge is that good knowledge is worth repeating. Good knowledge is worth restudying. You have to be imbued in good knowledge and it's not enough to know what is right. It is a requirement that you do it, you execute. And as far as I'm concerned, I've already really done all the thinking I need to do in my lifetime. I need to be heavy on the side of deeds and probably the same is true for you as well. You need to focus on your deeds. What are you going to do? We often know what is right. We often have already thought through it, but we have deeds in lack. OH just sent tuition. Shout out to OH supporting the work. It's good to see the, the loyal saints and pulled up and you know, Vegas is returning to its former self. It's getting warm and sunny again. You know, time to start dropping the tops, you dig? let the boobies out on the on the whips, if you dig what I'm saying. So I'm always happy to see this kind of warmth. And now the traffic is a sign of A, the city thriving, and B, the government being incompetent because uh, they seem to never fix the roads properly. But yeah, I 
started off the day with a early morning workout uh, took my time with it it was good to be outside in the sun we often don't spend enough time outside so i was really thankful for that so one of the structures the regular structures that i'm thinking the lady saints should have is that when they meet they should always discuss relationships to start with it doesn't have to only be romantic relationships but they should talk about what is going well hey this is really working in my relationship i'm very pleased uh, with how things are going i want to share this good thing with you just share some good news but also share good tips and best practices for these other women because you have women who are mature and seasoned been married for many years and they can share good inspiration um, and guidance then there's the you know I, I need to be better at this in my relationship or i'm experiencing a recurrent challenge or a recurrent disagreement what do you recommend in terms of strategy? And the beautiful thing is that these women are, are guided by ism, you know, and we also have norms. So there are certain things that will not be discussed during the meeting. And there's a certain mindset that will be engaged during the meeting of the Lady Saints, which is to say uh, optimism and positivity. There's no discussion of any sexual topics. Of course, this is a moral group. And so, you know, they're using ism, they're using, you know, enforcing good attitudes and good behavior. It, it's a really beautiful thing. And from, from the Lady Saints perspective, and that the men are prepared to do in terms of Okay, Mike said that his super chats are getting built with here. If that's happening to you, I recommend using Cash App because we can't yes. control that, unfortunately. Talk about is that uh, Mr. Salvador? Yeah. Oh, shout out to, to Mike. It's good to hear from us. One of the world. Shout out to Jose. It looks like he just came in by a Cash App, which won't disappear. Um, but if you're saying they disappear, obviously when the super chat goes up, it stays up for a certain amount of time and then it'll you know, vanish from the screen. If that's what you're talking about, that, that's standard, but I know you've been at this for a while, so this might be something else, uh, what you're saying. So yes, uh, PayPal and Cash App will be better. Cash App's better because it pops up on my screen, uh, so it helps us. And one of the things I really enjoyed about this Lady Saints meeting that we just had is, you know, pretty much every woman in the Lady Saints meeting uh, is married to or in a long-term relationship with a saint and, and one of them is in a new relationship with a saint which is great man that's what we like to see you know good people together and that makes it a lot easier for us to you know make sure that life is simple and easy when you know that you guys are following the same thing and you have similar expectations about the role of the man and the role of the woman like for example as saints we know that we're the protector of the woman so for example things like taking out the garbage being that the garbage goes outside outdoors the man is the one that takes out the garbage that's our expectation and responsibility the woman is the one who provides for the food which is to say she is the chief cook the chief chef we know that and this is clear with us so we know what our expectations are so it makes life so much more simple and also of course you know uh, god forbid if anyone in their relationship needed sass and arbitration we have that structure uh, that can be utilized for you know helping resolve things if you reach a stalemate you're like who really is right what really is the right path so and we're building something that is remarkable and will be an example to mankind and uh, i know a lot of folks will follow in our way even if they might not quite be elite enough to actually join the sass and get in For those that didn't see, due to many requests, we are going to release the Man and Woman Packable Jacket. Starting tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific time, it will be for 24 hours only. Um, so take advantage while you can. Marquette has never done this before. Right. Um, so he's- Marquette doesn't really like doing that. But he's going to do it. And primarily to, to keep it funky with you, um, in our discord for members if you're a member at uh, marquettism.com or patreon.com um, you know that we have a discord for our members and within the discord one of the saints had posted his workout and he had the pink packable jacket on it looks so player i had it in a couple of colors but i never got it in the pink color it looks so player i wanted to get it um and a lot of saints were saying that they wanted it and asking me to re-release and so that's why we decided to because it was just 
it was just cold. It was it was too cold uh, to keep from the people. You did. Okay, we have Shahid sent a super chat. He said, need to join the Patreon and get a consultation. Word to Big Bird. I just uh, had a consultation yesterday with uh, Andre. And it's always good to talk to men and you know, be a part of that foundation of their finances. You know, he's getting started in his entrepreneurial journey. He has a pretty cool uh, product that he's going to be creating. And you know, that, that's, that's fun stuff. That's what life is about, what you build. Okay, and we have someone said, Peace to the Saints. Is there like-minded saints in Massachusetts area? I intend on joining the Discord soon. There are some in Massachusetts, yeah, and now is the perfect time to join Patreon um, because to get access to Discord, you need to be a member, and you have to do new member orientation, which is taking place this Tuesday, and all that information is on Patreon. So if you join Patreon now, you can join the orientation on Tuesday and get access to Discord and communicate with like-minded people. Word up. I feel like that's the third time I've heard someone mention Massachusetts. Yeah. Either it was the same man or there's a couple of folks in um, Massachusetts. Jay said he's in a cash app. Okay. Show folks the phones. On a low. Shout out to Jay Bier. He writes question in the live chat under Jay. Yeah, that one. Um, he just had sent a. Oh, is there a way for my wife to have my last name without state marriage? Yes, uh, anyone can change their name legally, and so if that's something that is important to you, uh, then you can just go through that legal process, which does not create a marriage. But people change their name all the time, uh, whether it's musical artists like Jamie Fox or it's um, someone making a religious conversion. A lot of the people in the Nation of Islam would uh, change their name. Uh, Malcolm X, in fact, changed his name to uh, Malik al Haj Shabazz. So, yes, you can do that legally. I understand. Ethan said, Can someone send the Cash App link? It is Cash Tag Marquette. M A R Q U E T T. Taxis be tripping. I don't, I don't know why. Is it it's something about getting that job as a taxi? You, you have to be a little bit lit. Or maybe just stand in the car all day gets you turns you crazy. <laughs> Sitting in traffic all day. <laughs> it could make you peaceful. Life is a choice, but people often make the wrong choices. Shout out to David. He just copped two uh, beanies on manandwomanbrand.com. He copped this light blue one with the black man and woman flag, which is cold. And speaking of flags, we just released the man and woman brand flag. Um, so check it out. It's, it's a beautiful thing. And you know, the LGBTQ, they got their flag. We have ours. Okay, check the cash out. Uh, Rich Forever writes, question in the chat. Rich Forever Way 7. Okay, well, I see someone named Business and Investing said so send in a cash app, but I don't see anything from Rich Forever. Looks like someone just purchased uh, Boss University. So shout out to that boss. He's smart because he, he low key he's sliding because I was supposed to increase the price 20 bucks today. Get around to that. that uh, The privileges of living in a place that's world renowned is that it's a new crop of people every day. Beautiful, wealthy people every day. And I like to be around truth and beauty, you dig, and wealth and opulence. It just makes me feel better. Vilkin said PayPal's on the way. Vilkin, I hope you did see Marquette responded on Discord to your PayPal question from the last live. Right. Because he's an... You're welcome. Yes, if you ever don't get a response that you're supposed to get, just send me another note. I am extraordinarily busy. That's pretty much all that it ever is. It's just a busyness. He said he did get it, so we hope you did well in your interview. Yes, very much so. One of my favorite pizza places here. And that says a lot because you don't like pizza. <laughs> right. 
My favorite pizza place actually is in Berkeley, California, but this is the best one in the city, in my opinion. Are you gonna put this in the bag or should I just leave it? Uh, you can just leave it, yeah. Thank you. How are you? Do you want to check PayPal and Cash App? I like the SUV portion of it.